Alright, so to finish up this, we're gonna um, add also these dividers and some legs. I also want to discuss, uh, again, this, um, this pillow. Uh, again, we just kind of made a copy of it. And it's um, um, a little bit more curved than it needs to be for this part of the couch. So, um, <coughs> actually going to make a copy of it so it's not the instance one and I'm gonna modify it a little bit so it does it fits a little better to what's supposed to be happening here uh, to do that <coughs> I'm gonna actually uh, I'm in the animation mode and uh, I want to be using uh, not, the lin not the linear the formers but I want to be using the lattice and I'm gonna click on the option box for that and what this does, it creates a little bit of a bounding box that you can actually uh, use to kind of modify your object a little bit more organically. Uh, so I'm just going to use the default that that comes with it. Click apply, and as you can see, you just kind of build this this kind of uh, box around it. Which I'm going to go into my top viewport, <coughs> and uh, on the lattice itself, I can. Uh, select uh, a component of it Let's see if I can the lattice point alright and then I'm gonna go back into my top viewport and then I'm gonna start moving some stuff around again just to kinda make it fit what's going on in this part of the couch a little bit better and it's a little easier than having to go in there and modifying uh, the actual model locally and it, it kind of keeps the organic nature of it without um, changing too much. So, and again, this is another one of those things that, again, I can just kind of keep modifying this a little bit until I get something that I like better, or if it's the couch a little bit better. this all right and uh, again gotta keep in mind that there is a uh, this is a note and there's a little bit of a dependency between the two uh, you can always just kind of get rid of it again by going into edit and then um, delete by type and uh, History, or at least should have been able to edit. Delete by type history. Okay, so now we don't have that there, and we have a piece of uh, like a pillow uh, that kind of uh, works a little better, at least for that section of the couch. Uh, and again, I only would only do that if I know that I don't need to modify the shape of it anymore, uh, since you know we made them instances to begin with so any changes that I would make to the original would be affected on the other ones um, let's go ahead and create a divider so again this uh, again, it's just gonna be a very simple uh, piece of, uh, of uh, let's start with the primitive and cube again it's gonna be something along these lines Gotta make it fit there between the divisions. And <coughs> maybe modify it a little bit. Okay, and again I might have I might use a little bit of creative license to make this one kind of work a little bit better. Um, I guess for the purposes of this demonstration, so I can just add, uh, I'm going to start by adding a, a little bit of uh, edge loops to loops, so I can uh, add a little bit of sharpness there, in here, and uh, if I wanted to, I could also kind of give it a little bit of a seam here, like I did with the other one, so can just uh, select these edges and uh, bring them around. Um, 
want. Okay, there we go. I want to go into. Uh, let's switch back into polygon. Select. Convert into faces. And I want to extrude that. Okay, just a little bit, nothing too crazy. And again, I just want to make a preview here, see what that's looking like. I'm gonna have to maybe add um, a couple of more loops so it's a little the scene's a little more pronounced. <coughs> so I'm gonna go back into my insert edge loop tool. Could be even closer to that actually. Like that. And I could add uh, one right here to create a little bit more sharpness. And again, something like that could work really well for this. Um, could probably go in here and just kind of change it up a little bit more. But I think this will do just fine. Uh, next thing I want to do is do uh, an instance of it. And again, just in case, I need to modify the original. Uh, so I can make more changes to it, it'll just do it to both, so um, control shift D. That's the um, duplicate special. I just want to make sure it's one copy of it, so it is, and then apply. sure that it uh, just fits in the area where it's supposed to go. And okay, I'm already encountering an issue. Not that I thought it was bigger than it's supposed to be, and it's just fine. Let's move that to the side a little bit. <coughs> and then, then the last detail we're going to do is the legs. And that seems to be pretty simple. Or at least seems to be. So let's see what we can do about that. <coughs> uh, I basically just need to create one and then just make a bunch of copies and instances. So uh, <coughs> let's start by creating a primitive uh, sphere. I mean, I can always change the side of it, I mean the size of it, um, by scaling the whole thing down. For now I'm just going to keep it that size, we just make it a little bit bigger, a little bit, little bit smaller. <laughs> that should work fine. And where did my sphere go? Okay. So we have a sphere, the bottom is kind of flat and uh, it has this kind of coming out from the side and again that, that can be uh, pretty much anything I could pretty much just uh, make that out of another primitive uh, basically create a, a cylinder and just make it a cylinder that's wider at the top than it is at the bottom and uh, it's okay if it's not <coughs> one piece uh, not everything in 3 uh, when it comes to doing the hard surface models, they don't need to be. Um, so let's make this like that. Make sure that I take the cap subdivisions. I'm going to face. Scale that. Another thing that I want to do is maybe change the pivot of my object so I can rotate it from the bottom. So I'm just going to move it uh, to the bottom and then just rotate. And I want to go to the front viewport. Go to the side viewport. Alright, 
see what's going on here. Let's just get rid of it of the bottom here. Okay. And um, um, the picture is a little pixelated, so I can't really see all the details, which is why I can just um, maybe take a little bit of creative license of how this is going to look like. Um, just going to move this up a little bit. Um, can definitely come here and uh, fill the hole. Um, and I'm going to go in here and make another extrusion along these edges. So select, convert, two faces, and then extrude. This and then need to go to the side for this. Just gonna bring it down like this, and could probably also um, bevel this edge. So let's go ahead and do that. That's a little bit too much. And again, I can always go back into my channel box and uh, modify that to fit whatever I needed to do. That's still a little bit too much. And maybe two. And I can go into my normals and just soften the edges so it's not as blocky. Again, this is one of those things that's not going to be directly right on the on the camera, so I don't really need to. Um, give it a lot of resolution. <clears throat> um, so I'm basically going to go ahead and just group these objects and then um, <clears throat> uh, basically instant them uh, through the whole base. Um, so, um, but in order to do that, I'm going to use the outliner, <clears throat> which is this. Um, so this is the base of the leg and this is the actual body of it and to group them I'm basically going to go here and middle click on the leg and just drag it into the leg right here and now it's basically grouped as one object on my outliner I can come here and just rename it um, leg so I can see in my outliner you know what it is and then I'm just basically going to place it where it's supposed to go. Like this. And again, it's probably better if I do it through my top viewport, wireframe mode. Then just going to do this. And I can just make uh, a couple of instances of it and just kind of fill out uh, the bottom of it. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and uh, I'm just going to basically uh, um, finish this in the next video. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do the, the legs on my own, and on the next one we'll discuss what will be the last steps that I would uh, do in order to finish this uh, 